We gotta talk about Google because they're pretty much ditching Silicon Valley and the rest of the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, Google in the beginning of this year laid off 12,000 people, which is basically like the size of a small town. And then this comes just after Amazon and Microsoft laid off almost 30,000 people combined. So what does this mean? Many of the tech companies are located in Silicon Valley. And the reason why Silicon Valley is just such an expensive place to live, and the reason why condos still go for over $700,000, though they are getting cheaper, is because so many of these high paying tech workers work here and live here. A lot of them don't really wanna live here, but they're kind of forced to because it's closer to their offices. But now times are changing. We're seeing San Francisco just deteriorating. The rest of the Bay Area isn't really doing so great either. Housing prices are becoming cheaper every single day. The Bay Area, like seriously, is probably by far one of the worst housing markets they could buy in the entire first world countries. So Google is laying off a bunch of employees and recently, Google just cut dozens and dozens of additional jobs, very high paying jobs, at the San Francisco offices this month. So this isn't around the country, this isn't around the Bay Area, it's straight up in San Francisco, they're cutting dozens and dozens of these jobs. And many of the jobs that are located in San Francisco in the Google department are usually six figs and up. We're talking like 150K, 200K, 300K. And tech workers right now are really scared because unemployment is up to 3.9. We're heading over towards 5.0 in the next few months, whether you like it or not. And many of the jobs being cut are not like McDonald's or like Amazon Go or like UPS drivers. We're talking about like super high paying jobs, like the tech jobs that pay like 175 a year straight out of college type of deal. And many of these high paying jobs are being pretty much destroyed left and right. Google is kind of done with the Bay Area. They're also offloading 1.4 million square feet of Bay Area office space Look at this, 1,000 Enterprise Way in Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale is a very expensive neighborhood to live in. Real estate prices are off the roof. Little suburban houses that look like boxes still go for $1.5 million. And Google just put this massive space on the sublease market, which to this day, not a single company has come in and taken this office. Nobody really wants to come to San Francisco anymore or the rest of the Bay Area. It used to be if Google put one of these buildings up for sublease, you got like 10 companies lining up the next day right behind its doors waiting to sublease it. There's even bidding wars before the pandemic. But now Google is not only moving employees online, but they're also straight up firing employees. And with offices being more empty than before, they're cutting back on office space. Google is essentially trying to pull a Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab essentially fired 2,000 workers, closed down a bunch of office space, and Schwab is now saving about half a billion dollars in money that would have went to the office space, but now they can use half a billion dollars for whatever they want. Increase dividends, invest in more companies, whatever. I mean, real estate does cost a lot of money. Like buildings like these are ultra expensive. And speaking of buildings, we also have Google ending one of the biggest developments in US history. This is a $15 billion San Francisco Bay Area project development they're gonna be partnering up with Lindley's, which is a company from Australia, but recently it just got canceled. This project started a few years ago, before the pandemic, because that was during a time when real estate was just so crazy in the Bay Area. People are building nonstop. If you build an office building, you have 20 companies lining up behind your door, wanting to lease it. Vacancy rates in San Francisco were less than 3.5% in certain areas. It was super low. Some buildings, had like 100% occupancy rates, and people are just fighting tooth and nail every single day just to get one of these offices. But now Google assesses the situation. They look around the Bay Area, they see office workers leaving. They also see more specifically, the city is deteriorating like no other city in the US. It's going downhill. San Jose is basically a ghost town. Oakland has the highest car break-ins, and San Francisco streets are just covered in poop. I mean, Companies as rich as Google don't really want to stay in these places. And I think they're trying to slowly move their assets out of California. I mean, Tesla already moved out of California. You already have several startups. And a lot of startups are just moving to places that are unconventional, like Miami, Austin, and Las Vegas, which are just cities that are not specialized in tech, but in other fields like gambling and hospitality are now taking a lot of business away from the Bay Area. Because when you run a city so poorly, 
even Google just wants to leave. And seriously, Google just pretty much halted this four master plan district in the Bay Area. $15 billion. Guys, this isn't a small project. This is an insanely big project with multiple mega mansions and mega districts, mega towers, and even some shopping malls. That's how crazy Google wants to go out, out all out for this. Now, they also want to bring like 15,000 new housing units in the region. They also want to house their own employees. Essentially, before the pandemic, they want to bring all the Google stuff into Silicon Valley. But now they're like, you know what? Let's just not do this. And let's just use $15 billion on other stuff, maybe like AI. So Google is kind of done with this development. It's a shame because the Bay Area actually really needed a development like this. But when you have buildings foreclosing left and right for 50% off, do you really think people will want to build these massive projects. I mean, in San Francisco, you already have some of the biggest projects shutting down. Hayes Point, 47-story skyscraper, now is going to foreclosure because they can't find investors to build it. One Oak is also halting construction. You got whole condo buildings being downgraded in price. NEMA, this massive apartment complex, it's not even offices, it's, it's apartment complexes. And apartments usually do better than offices in times like these. But even NEMA has their valuation decrease from half a billion to a quarter billion, 50% off for an apartment complex. Of course, Google isn't building this. They're not dumb. They know that if they build this campus, they're gonna be losing a lot of money. And then you also have Google just shifting their next events from San Francisco to Las Vegas. This is a big deal, right? Because these are all big events. Google Cloud event, this isn't like your everyday small tech event with a few people. I mean, it's Google we're talking about. And this is by far one of the biggest cloud events in the world. And San Francisco, because of how bad the streets are, Google like, you know what, Google's like, you know, screw it. We're just gonna move this out. And it's not just Google. IBM and their Red Hat event is moving out of San Francisco to Las Vegas as well. This isn't anything to laugh about because tech companies have massive tech events. And in a city, has a lot of tech events all the time, it becomes a tech city. Because when you have a tech event, you have thousands of people, sometimes up to 10, 12,000 people visiting your tech event from around the world, not just around the country. And they really does stimulate a city's economy. And San Francisco already lost a bunch of the tech, event, tech events and even Salesforce is threatening to move their DreamHack event or DreamForce to like San Francisco, to like Las Vegas as well. Cause like the street conditions are just so incredibly bad. And then lastly, just to top it off, San Jose really needs a new campus to stimulate their downtown. San Jose's downtown region has a vacancy rate of what, 80 to 90 stores retail and the downtown isn't even that big. So you have the majority of San Jose's downtown being empty. In fact, the city is so empty, it doesn't even have homeless people. That's how bad it is. Google's 80 acre San Jose mega campus on the west side of San Jose downtown is now on hold. The company says that there's an economic slowdown and real estate in the Silicon Valley area is basically worthless. They don't wanna build these campuses when they're gonna be half empty all the time. So they're kind of done. And I think once Google's scrapping plans for this, especially Google already spent millions on this, hiring people, negotiating, they really wanna build this because it's been on the pipeline for the for like years and they finally want to start now but then they start assessing and they're like hold on a second this is probably one of the worst ideas ever and i think google made the right decision in a financial way to not build these campuses but of course the bay area really needs these campuses to stimulate its economy again but google just doesn't really want to build stuff in a place where real estate values are just dropping like 50 70 percent I don't really blame them. Let's see what happens. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.